All right, guys, so I've updated the Facebook Insights to Google Data Studio template and made some changes to it in order to make it work really well. And the reason as to why you need this, if you haven't used my prior ones, is because when you upload Facebook uh, Data Studio or Facebook Insights uh, into Google Data Studio in order to create visualizations such as this one, in order to show your growth or in order to be able to compare different types of posts uh, to see which ones are performing the best uh, Facebook uh, is not formatted for Google Data Studio so it renders a lot of errors now the template I've created uh, it takes care of that and the only thing you will have to do is to copy and paste the data files from Facebook into this sheet and then the sheet will then take care of it uh, so it will take care of all the errors and make the data nice and clean for you so you just have to import it into Google Data Studio and work with your visualizations so this is how you go about doing Doing it. The first step is you go to this page in which uh, will be linked in the description and you enter your email address and then you hit get the Facebook data template. What you will get then is a link to this sheet and uh, if you you know I will only send uh, to this one I will only send you updates to this sheet if I do them so you won't miss out on any new stuff. Uh, you will get two links one for the 2019 uh, template and one for the 2019 and 20 template now the first thing you do is when you open the links that you'll get from when you sign up on this page the first thing you do is that you make a copy of this file so the way you do that and the way the why the reason as to why you make a copy is because this is the file that everyone will get the viewing rights for and if you want to edit it then you need to edit it so you go to file and you hit make a copy and then you save this to whatever place that you want to save it and then you hit OK. So you just select the folder where you want to, to put it on your drive and then you hit save. Then you hit OK here and now you move on. So that's the first step that you do. You make a copy of this. Now the thing you do after that is you go to your Facebook page and then under more here you find insights this data visualization you learn absolutely nothing from. It's only when you start playing around and manipulating the data yourself that you actually get something from it. Like what I could learn from this is that I can look at when I posted something and I can look at when uh, growth was generated on Facebook and I can see whether or not that correlates if I'm doing a good job or not on my Facebook page. Uh, on this one, I can learn what formats and what messages uh, are getting the most engaged users and the most organic reach. Now, uh, this doesn't tell me any of that. So this, I need to move the data from here into Google Data Studio in order to make sense of it. And the way I do that is I hit export here. Uh, if I want, if I have the 2019 template, I do it by month. So for January here, I create a report report or download January to January 2019 to 2019 like so and then page data because I want the macro data of the growth and then I hit export now that might seem as though it's something because I have to repeat this for each and every month but this is something that you do once right and you won't have to correct the errors like 12 times 13 times but you do it once right now you take this data that you've gathered from this file or that you get from facebook you just select all copy it and you go into the 2019 the january sheet and you just paste over the dummy data you just mark the upper file the upper corner here and then you paste your data into it and then you hit save now you repeat that for february march april may and you do that for all the page data so you do that for page data you select each month sometimes you might do this and you 15 and then to 20 and then you hit export and then it gives you this error because the time was too long uh, but that is usually because you've been sloppy here so just make sure that you have the right dates up here that you export so you export March first to last for that year that you want to export it and you should be all good so you repeat that for the uh, page data and then you scroll down here you see all these green ones 
uh, you come to posts q1 now for posts when we look at individual posts the post type and the message and things like that i've done them quarterly instead of monthly because you can export them by quarter uh, you can export the, the page data as well per quarter, but it doesn't make sense to do that. Uh, and uh, I've tried uh, several different versions to shorten down this sheet, but that's, you know, this is the most pragmatic we can be. So to export the first quarter, you go to your Facebook page. You, instead of page data, you select post data. You select January 1st, 2019 to March 31st. 2019 and you hit OK and you export this data and it should appear like so you have all your post IDs select it oops you copy it and then you go to this page and you replace the dummy data like so I just paste it in now you repeat that for q2 q3 and q4 should make sense please ask questions in the comments if something doesn't make sense so now we've added all the all of the data into these different um different uh, tabs and now we want to create the output that we can then add to data studio and the way that we generate those is that we go to tools here we go to script editor and here are the scripts that i've generated in order to make those calculations and the only thing you have to do is this you hit play and now it should give us an error running the functions yep and we hit it again and now we should get a permissions thing here and it says review permissions you select your user and you hit advanced and you hit this link down here and then allow and this is just because this is not a verified app uh, but it is just a, a code that is connected to your copy of of this and you're giving permissions to that uh, to that sheet to do changes to it now it's running uh, the function and it should be done within up to like two minutes and then you go back and you can see that these two pages have rendered with new data cool excellent so now what i want to do is i want to use this information in order to create something looking like this or looking like this so what i do is i go to my google data studio like so and i hit blank report and i add my google sheet and as you see i took the copy off and i select page data first to create that first visualization and i hit add see these are different sheets add to report those are different sheets in here so you have the one for this one you have for that one as well so you have both for the page and for the posts now i give this a name Facebook data to the data studio two, like so. And as you can see, once it opens, it creates one of these uh, neat little uh, tables, but it doesn't include that nice looking data that we had over here. So we need to change it. And the way we change it is we go into, oops, we go into here and we select this one instead click this up now the first thing we need to do is to remove this one breakdown dimension now the thing we wanted to get visualized here was the lifetime total likes the daily new likes and the daily unlikes so let's go down here and we do likes and we do lifetime total likes then likes daily new likes and then likes daily undikes as you can see here it doesn't really render nicely and the first thing we have to do is we have to um, figure out the way um, in oops 
we have to figure out a way in which this data actually uh, shows up the way that we wanted it over here and the first thing we should do is to move because as you can see the total number of uh, likes on your page are so much bigger than the ones for the daily new likes and daily unlikes so you need to move them from being over here to being displayed over here because of the difference so what you do is you go into style and you take for the second series which is one two the daily new likes and the third series which is the daily unlikes you go in here series two you move them to the right and you go down here and you move that to the right now you see that it's much more easy to see whether or not you got more or less new likes and unlikes now it still doesn't look very neat it doesn't look like over here where there are nice uh, lines and the way you do that which i like to do because it helps me just visualize it a little bit easier is that i go into here and instead of having none down here i add running some then i repeat that for daily unlikes i do running some like so in this document we have data until may uh, so as you can see it shows you from december 18 to may 24th and it should give you down here may should have data dummy data and then in june it doesn't have any dummy data so there you will have to add your own data in order to get your graph to continue growing here yeah but you can see that that is what is happening down here if you want to remove this uh, 2018 or you just want to show growth for one month then what you can do is you do a custom date range and you add uh, from 2019 january 1st to 2019 december 31st and you apply that you can see then it shows the date range for the full uh, full period of time that you have there so then you go from 1st of january to it says 12th of december here but it actually shows you the full month so that was one of the visualizations and that shows you the page data and you can create the one below here as as well on your own please ask questions if you want to see me create uh, other visualizations do that in the comments please ask me what kind of visualizations you'd like me to create for you and um, the second thing i'd like to do is i'd like to create a new page which i do by hitting add page and then under layout here because i want a little menu out to the left here what I want to do is I want to hit layout. So if you just hit anywhere around on, on a page you created, like just don't touch a chart, you can hit layout and you can go down to here, navigation position, and you can hit left. And then if you hit view here, you can see that you have page one and page two uh, out to the left. Hit edit and now i want to add a chart but before i add a chart i need to add because last time we only added uh, the page data now we need to add the post data so the way we do that is we go into uh, this place and we hit resource and you go manage added data sources and you add data source google sheets you take the same spreadsheet but you use posts instead and you hit add Add to report and no errors yay you close this now you can go add chart you go down to one of these scatter plots you pull it out over the whole thing over here and you see it looks nasty but it's because it's the wrong data source and let's see if we can you see there you see it says posts I click that one and then it says post id and i want to add type here as well because i want the post type now it says record count and lifetime total post reach that's not what i had here i had organic reach and i had lifetime engaged users because i want to see which post types it is that uh, generates the most engaged users and has the most organic reach and i want to see if there is some kind of relationship between the two so which uh, this graph clearly tells us that's it, that, that that it, there is and so what i go here instead of record count i go and i add 
lifetime engaged users uh, actually here lifetime engaged users and then on the x-axis on this axis lifetime post organic reach and I go here lifetime post organic reach there it is so now they're plotted out here but I want to see what type of what type of post it is and in order to do that in order to change that I go into style and here I select type you can see link shared video and null which is that it's not defined um, and it's two different colors yeah, because I only have two different post types as you can see here link and shared video right so uh, once I have more post types it will be more you know several different colors over here and so yeah that's how I create one of those and then I can start when I hit view here I can have a look at what kind of you know uh, what type of post or which post led to what right so that's how I can create one of those reports and then you can start analyzing uh, whether or not what type of, of uh, content generates the right type of, of output for you depending upon what your goals are and as I said please ask questions about more visualizations but this is how you use this um, use this template in order to create these kinds of visualizations so uh, yeah please ask questions and uh, uh, have a good day bye